Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today I bring you some breaking news regarding Volvo and Tesla. Let's get into it. Okay, so if you haven't heard, Volvo is going next. I repeat, Volvo is going North American charging standard. So what does that mean? Well, that means I'm a really, really excited EX30 reservation holder. That's what that means. Uh, anyways, yeah, if you haven't heard, uh, that news was dropped today by Tesla Charging uh, on Twitter. I don't know if there's any other kind of formal announcement that went out. I am not clear on whether this will include Polestar vehicles as well, uh, but one would one would assume it would, but we'll see. Uh, I have no confirmation of that. If somebody wants to later, if once that's confirmed, put that in the comments down below. I'll put it in the description as well if that does get confirmed. Uh, so what does this mean? Well, it means that the Volvo vehicles are very enticing now uh, for people to purchase. Uh, one, because now you can charge anywhere. Two, the charge port location on Volvos is in the right spot. It's in the driver's side rear, meaning it's a perfect marriage uh, when it comes to using the Tesla supercharger network. Up until Volvo, I'm pretty sure all the vehicles have their charging ports in an unideal location for charging on the supercharger network. Uh, that doesn't mean they're not going to charge on the supercharger network, obviously, but maybe later the uh, designers of the vehicles are going to reposition the charge port location. Volvo is good to go, ready for using the supercharger network. So, this has now raised the likelihood that I'll go through with my EX30 reservation. Uh, just the ability to charge wherever I want, be able to have access to a highly reliable charging network uh, makes, it's really making me lean that way. Uh, so that is that. The next thing I wanted to bring up and everybody's gonna be talking about it, and it's just gonna be this way until everybody can charge in the supercharger network, but who is next? Uh, at this point, it's inevitable that everybody eventually is gonna be able to charge in the supercharger network. Uh, but who is next? I'm not gonna take a guess. I'm gonna bet it's probably gonna be Stellantis. And as soon as uh, Tesla uh, allows the capabilities of uh, charging 800 volt and 1000 volt uh, architecture vehicles, then you better believe that Lucid and Hyundai are gonna hop right on the North American charging standard train. Uh, so if that is the case, that's everybody except the Germans. <laughs> um, I think there's a lot of speculation uh, that Mercedes might go next and, and that is likely. Uh, now being a Volkswagen owner, I'm going to uh, speak out. So Volkswagen, if you're listening, um, and I understand that you own Electrify America, and I understand that you um, support the CCS1 um, port for vehicles in the United States. But you need to uh, really sit down and think hard about your customers. Because at this point, um, and really about your business model, but at this point, you're disadvantaging your customers. And honestly, if someone's looking at different vehicles and they have the option where they can charge wherever they want, or if they buy a Volkswagen uh, or a Porsche Taycan, or I'm, I guess I'm talking just a Volkswagen, so a Volkswagen or a Porsche Taycan, um, that they can only charge on Electrify America or any of the other CCS networks. But really, if you want to travel across the country, you're stuck with Electrify America. Um, and additionally, for you, Electri uh, sorry, uh, Volkswagen, you're going to lose a lot of customers and you're already not that profitable when it comes to charging, if at all. I don't think you're profitable at all. Tesla's profitable. So people are gonna flock to Tesla and you're gonna lose even more money and be even more in the hole. So what do I think Volkswagen Group uh, should do? Well, I think that Volkswagen Group should 
A, to start adding the North American charging standard to all of their chargers because, like, why not? That way it makes it an easier experience for Tesla owners to use um, your chargers. Then I think that a Volkswagen Group and Electrify America need to somehow negotiate a deal uh, with Tesla to allow their vehicles to have access to the charging network. Now, be it by adding uh, the NACS port on the vehicles natively, I doubt they're gonna go for that, but at least allowing access by an adapter. Um, I just think that they have to do that. Uh, at, at this point, it is gonna be a bad business case for them if they don't if they don't add the North American charging standard in some capacity. Uh, just to open it up, uh, to open up more charging to their customers is gonna help them out, I think, in the long run. So, I don't know, those are my thoughts. I know a lot of people, and even me, I, I really do think that uh, Volkswagen in particular, but also the German manufacturers would be last, but um, I don't think they should be. I think they're making a grave mistake if they do, uh, and they could step up now, make a, make a deal uh, with Tesla to open up their vehicles uh, to the supercharger network, and then they don't have to save face later uh, when basically they're wrong and they're losing money and you know, Electrify America goes out of business because no one charges there and they keep putting in chargers that are breaking and they can't keep them working. So anyways, those are my thoughts kind of about that and uh, hopefully they fix, hopefully, hopefully Volkswagen uh, comes up with some kind of uh, better decision than doing nothing uh, surrounding this whole um, uh, people adopting the North American charging standard. So aside from that, I'm looking forward to the Volvo because that'll be that'll be great and I won't have to worry about it and my wife uh, you know she doesn't charge publicly that often anyways and I guess we can just take the Volvo everywhere now we'll have to we'll have to take the Volkswagen but anyways thanks again for watching uh, this was a little bit shorter but just sharing my thoughts about this uh, really fresh news and I really think that that Volkswagen group needs to make the right call here it's the hard call but it's the right call so thanks again for watching please remember to give a like and a subscribe hit the notification bell and i will catch you all next time